Hey everyone, this is Spectre P from Spectre AI. Welcome back. Today we're breaking down the intercept resend attack, the original quantum eavesdropping strategy that exposes how BB84 reacts when someone tries to spy on the key. We'll cover what Eve does, why it forces a 25% error rate, and how this makes the attack instantly detectable. Let's jump in. Before we talk about eavesdropping, let's look at how BB84 behaves when the channel is clean. Alice sends random qubits using either the Z basis or the X basis. Bob also measures in random bases. When their bases match, Bob gets the correct bit and it's kept. When their bases don't match, the result is discarded during sifting. With no Eve in the middle, there's no disturbance, and the error rate stays essentially at zero. Eve's objective is simple. She wants to intercept each qubit Alice sends, measure it to learn the bit, and then reprepare a new qubit to forward to Bob, all without being detected. But this measurement step inevitably disturbs the quantum state. So even though Eve hopes the disturbance will go unnoticed, her actions introduce errors that Alice and Bob will eventually detect. Here's the fundamental challenge for Eve. Alice randomly chooses between the Z basis and the X basis, and Eve has no way of knowing which one was used for any qubit. So every time she intercepts a photon, Eve is essentially guessing. Half the time, she chooses the right basis and everything looks fine but the other half of the time, she guesses the wrong basis. And that wrong guess introduces disturbance. This randomness is exactly what makes the intercept resend attack detectable. Now, let's see why this attack creates a 25% error rate. Eve guesses the basis correctly half the time, but the other half of the time, she chooses the wrong basis. And whenever she measures in the wrong basis, she sends Bob a state that's only correct half the time. So the total error rate is 50% times 50%, which equals 25%. That's the signature of the intercept resend attack. When Alice and Bob perform sifting, they only keep the bits where they use the same basis. You might think this removes Eve's disturbance, but it doesn't. Eve's errors are introduced before Bob makes his measurement. So even in the bits that survive sifting, some outcomes are still wrong. These errors show up directly in the sifted key, and this is what allows Alice and Bob to detect the intercept resend attack. Now let's look at a simple simulation of the intercept resend attack. Each trial applies Eve's 50% wrong basis and 50% wrong outcome rule. As we increase the number of qubits, the measured error rate begins to stabilize. And just as the theory predicts, the QBER converges to 25%. This is the unmistakable signature of the intercept resend attack. And it's why Alice and Bob can always detect it in practice. Here's the key reason intercept resend doesn't typically work. Because Eve has to guess the basis for every qubit, she inevitably chooses the wrong basis half the time. Those wrong guesses introduce disturbance that persist even after Alice and Bob sift their key. As the key grows, that disturbance settles into a stable 25% error rate. So when Alice and Bob compare a small sample of their sifted bits, the QBER instantly reveals Eve's presence. That's why intercept resend is always detectable. Here are the key points to remember. Eve has to guess the basis for every qubit, and half of those guesses are wrong. Those wrong guesses disturb the quantum state, and the disturbance survives even after Alice and Bob sift their key. As the key grows, the error rate locks onto 25%, a clear signature of the intercept resend attack. By comparing just a small sample of their sifted bits, Alice and Bob immediately detect Eve's presence. That's why intercept resend should always be recognized. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribing is free to you and takes just a second, but helps the channel a lot. 
and visit specterai.ai for 55 real-life quantum security labs where you can learn by doing. Check out our books on Amazon and leave a comment to tell us what you want to learn next. See you in the next video.